Insight for Creativity, led by Ashok Vyas, joined hands with the Indo-American Senior Center to organize an event with the aim of bridging the generation gap. In the panel discussion, which was held in front of the invited audience, two members of the senior group and two representatives from the younger generation shared their respective views. The Gen 2 Dialogue series will be hosted every month and will act as a dynamic forum for developing an understanding between two generations through communication. The president of the Indo-American Senior Center, Mukund Mehta, thanked Ashok Vyas for this meaningful initiative as well as ITV for supporting this This is a special series, uh, Generational Dialogue, that is happening with the uh, wholehearted support of Indo-American Senior Center. Uh, I must thank you, uh, Ashok Vyas for his innovative idea. And uh, we just provided a platform only, but it was Ashok Vyas' idea. And I think the way the two generations express their frank opinion, that will go a long way because it will be viewed not only by the seniors, but by the second generation as well. And when they each understand other side of the story, I think that will bridge the gap. So this is a social program. Stimulated with the, their peers of different nationalities, it is totally different. Uh, many of you, your stories are you came to this country with $8. And just like my grandpa and grandma, if you didn't work really hard, then you'd be nowhere, right? So for us, we've kind of been handed a much better opportunity. So they can take more workload than you? Yeah. Why is that? I think that, that drive that when you came to this country, you had nothing, right? We have so much more now that they when they came here. So you had no choice, right? And we work hard, but we also work smart to a point where we're not drilling ourselves you know into that point where we have like a so the question is why uh, first generation indian americans work harder than second generation indian americans i would love to be able to have the drive and the work ethic that my dad has my dad is on dialysis but still works full time and although it's our own business he does work full time and i wish that i can have that drive and I think he wishes that I could as well. But again, I've never had that shortage that would push me to work as hard as he had. And I'm thankful to him for giving me the luxury so I don't have that shortage. There's so many information is available online. And when we have all this information, we are not able to decide what is right and what is wrong. The person who agrees with us, we say he's a nice guy. So nice guys are people who agree with us. And this definition also goes in our close relationships. Husbands are good as long as they agree. <laughs> the same is true for wives. But let us apply this towards parents and If he doesn't follow my advice, what is the reason? You know, one should be flexible. Now, at kids' level, they may not be that flexible because they have not seen the word. And that's what they think what they are doing is absolutely right. Parents can try to convince in a persuasive manner that what the kid is doing is not correct and try to convince him. Uh, and if necessary, he can call some of the friends and uh, in their presence or some elderly person can be brought into it to bridge the gap rather than, you know, one should not be, parents should not be adamant about it. The family has to do, has one agreement. Nobody will ask him any question where he is. Whoever is the closest will go and pick him up. So what happens, the kids always feel better that even if I don't tell my parents that I'm going somewhere, but if I need help, somebody's there. My, you will agree that a more, this was a successful start. And this will give, this will give impetus to Ashokji to have some more programs involving different subjects and to bridge the gap between two generations. A number of volunteers worked here. here as well as downstairs for the kitchen team. So I'm really thankful to them. And Jatin Daria, our youngest executive committee member, he has done a superb job of uh, organizing. Come, come on, come on, Jatin, come, come, come on, Jatin. And we are really proud of you here. We are taught from uh, the very childhood, you have to respect your elders. Respect 
as you're to listen was the first thing. Your opinion is later. You can tell a little bit, a longer way to your mom only. Parents should also respect their child's dreams or what they want to do and at least try to understand what we are telling. Uh, so that would be very helpful, both of us to understand each other. Respect for life, I would say, just enjoy your life, be happy and be grateful to what you have in your life. Laziness is the mother of all bad habits. But being the mother, I respect it. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. So no, that's correct. <laughs> respect can be of many, I mean, it can be looked in many facets. Uh, but to me is, um, you know, how you interact with other human beings. So talk to me about your take on uh, the importance of being respectful and especially in the context of parents. Uh, means that you you try to be uh, aware of the fact that, that they always have your best interests in mind and that everything that they say to you uh, is for you, not for themselves. So Sapna, now you do not silently listen. You question what they are saying. Though Shamik uh, takes a different um, point of view where he wants to consider carefully whatever is proposed. But if you do not agree, is that being disrespectful? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, like, definitely you should consider what your parents are telling you. And if you disagree, you should explain them why you disagree. As soon as you question what is being told uh, and you have a different way of uh, looking at it, then they think that you are not being respectful but because that was exactly her experience. Uh, so Nilishji, how uh, to uh, look at the way being respectful is expressed or manifested? So let us walk uh, culturally. If you look at it from Indian perspective, being respectful might be different. But when you are in America, <laughs> it could be a different ball game. What I see what I is uh, the, the major, major difference, difference is, uh, the, say, in India, India, we are taught values, values and we take those values, values at their at face, face as it appears. And, and we, we there is no challenge to that. that. Whereas uh, our well, current generation well, here, uh, uh, you may agree, uh, uh, that, that you have to have provide, provide evidence. evidence. Sometimes in a... Uh, in, in Indian cultures, a lot of things, they become ritualistic and, and they become uh, that you do this, you know, you just do it. And, and nobody ever asks why or you, nobody ever wonders why. And then the new generation is exposed to different, different thoughts, different ideas. They always, sometimes other people will explain why they do this, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and then they don't understand why we do this. And then when they ask their parents, sometimes even their parents, you know, may not understand why. The current generation is a little too distracted at doing four different things at the same time to be able to give these things that they need, that they want to give it their time. Uh, from what I heard from Ashokji, Ashokji shared the idea with you and you took it up and you really pushed and got this idea into action. So. Hats off, to, hats off to both of you all and to the uh, Indo-American senior. I mean, you, you guys should clap for yourself. This is amazing that, that you all can uh, not only put up a program like this, but also uh, uh, engage in it so attentively. So uh, I think that that's a big part. I, the things that I heard here today from everybody is, is about love and affection. And I think if we, if, we, if we keep it in our heart that we want to love everybody, then we want to find ways to love everybody. We want to be res uh, loving, respectful uh, of, of both the generations. I think there's a, there's a lot to catch up on. I think this, this dialogue is really going to create in our, in the Indo-American uh, uh, society in US, this dialogue is going to create new openings, new opportunities, and just going to, just going to blow out, you know. So uh, thank you, Ashokji. Thank you, Mukunji. And thank you to all of you all.